Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking, and today we're getting back into some crazy bones. I know I've owed you guys a little bit of a video. You guys have been patient, and I appreciate it, and we're going to jump back into some really cool products of crazy bones. As you know, I have a lot of sealed products that I'm just dying to get into here, but I'm being patient, being very patient to open all these up, and I know you guys have been too. So today we're opening up something super cool and something pretty rare. Not a lot of people sell this product anymore, and to find it sealed, it's pretty expensive actually. Actually, the packs themselves go for like maybe 10 bucks, 15 bucks each. Sometimes it's pretty insane. And uh, this is what we're going to be opening up. We've got some aliens, crazy bone aliens. Play the craze. Here they are. This is the U.S. pack right here, the classic U.S. pack. And in fact, this is not the only version of the aliens I have. So let's go into some of the other ones I've got here. Now look at these, ah yes, the Canada packs. Crazy Bones from Canada, the Aliens set. Looking pretty sick. Again, these are a little bit less expensive than the US version. US is probably like $15. Canada is probably like $12 maybe. Actually, I take that back. I think Aliens US is like $20 per pack, which is why I've only got one of these suckers. This is the only US one I have. Uh, these are a little bit cheaper, going in at about $12. So that's like your $12 pack. And then, and then, we've got this very cool set all the way from Mexico, the Coca-Cola version aliens. Helaclos, Helaclos, Helalos. I don't know how you actually want to say it. The Helalocos, Helalocos. It's just crazy bone aliens, basically. It's the Coca-Cola prime version from Mexico. And these will run you about 10 bucks a pop. Uh, at the very least and this is the one i actually have the most of but you can find a lot of really cool glow in the dark ones from the mexico set so i am super super excited to open up some of these aliens it's a set that if i were to collect an entire set of anything in crazy bones this would be the set i'd want to collect is all these freaking awesome alien packs and we've got a bunch of them i'd even show you all of them we've got more canada more mexico more mexico more mexico one more Mexico for good measure. Of course, seeing as it's the most expensive booster pack and it's the only one I have, we're gonna leave the US Aliens booster pack for last. So yeah, let's get excited and leave a like on the video and let's jump into these and see if we can find some cool aliens. So let's start with Canada and see what we can find in this one and then we'll probably open up a bunch of my Mexico ones since that's the one I have the most of. And let's see here, do these have a checklist? I wanna open one that has a good checklist. I don't want to reveal which ones we got yet. I do want to just kind of set that there. Take a look at this. There we go. We got all 30 here. And yeah, that's just the 30 set right here. Very cool. So we're going to have to start checking these off eventually and see what we can find. So let's see what our first one is here. It's already fallen out. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. I didn't know you could actually get things. Can you get things? That looks like a thing. Yeah, number 113, which I don't know which one he is. I can't even tell. Maybe a flower or something? I don't know. But this is from the Things series. I didn't actually know you could pull things from the Canada Aliens Booster pack, so that's uh, that's an interesting one to say the least. I do see we've got one alien in here, maybe more. Let's fish around a little bit here. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see two aliens, and they're both wrapped in plastic. Here they are. Okay, so you get maybe one things and then two aliens, which is weird, but let's uh, crack this one open here. You've already seen them a little bit, but the one looks really cool. I kind of like that they have the plastic on them, actually. It makes for kind of making sure everything's in nice condition. There's our soups, our alien soups, I believe it is. He's number 34, so there is another checklist. They only give you like one half of it, so we're gonna have to find the other checklist. So number 34, I think his name is just like soups or something like that. And then this cool guy, little mustache man, he looks pretty sweet and I don't have him. Look at the quality. These have been taken care of. They haven't been dinged around or anything, which is awesome. And this is Gus or Chachi? Chachi or Gus, whichever one you want to go with. I guess there's two names. But yeah, this is a, a pretty sick one. His coloring looks fantastic. His painting looks phenomenal. Really sweet. And then, of course, we got our nice alien stickers, which we got a nice penguin, the soccer player, and whatever that one is. Oh, I'm excited to get into more of these. Time for the Mexico set. Let's get into the Coca-Cola aliens and see what they can find. The actual pack, foiling pack itself, feels a lot crunchier, like a lot, lot crunchier funny oh wow look at look at how big these stickers are 
Why are we missing stickers? Uh-oh. Mm, hopefully these aren't like resealed or anything. We're like missing the stickers almost. Or are these just so old that they... <gasps> they are. They're just so old that all the... <laughs> the, the ink has gone away, but we got a nice big version of Fizgon or whatever you want to call him, but he's pretty sick. And then we even get his little card here, 52. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's see what we can find. Does that mean we get Fizgon? There's only two in the Mexico sets, but we did get a pretty sick looking one that I'm excited about. So let's crack into it here. Ooh, let's go into this nice jelly purple man. He is pretty freaking awesome. I don't know if I'm going to title all the names of these. I might, but uh, <laughs> you'll see if I edit it that way. We'll see how much time I have, but he is really cool. Again, quality is great. And this guy, look at this guy. He's like, He's straight up my alley. He's like Creature from the Black Lagoon. Super dope looking. I love the creature versions of the aliens. They look so cool. And uh, I mean, ugh, I just can't get over them. They're so sweet. They're so freaking cool. Let's open another Mexico one, shall we? All right, let's pull out our little sticker. All right, I'm really confused. Did the ink just go off on these? I'm gonna have to inspect a little bit more. But CSOS, our big brain guy. And we got this guy's little tag again or whatever his little card uh Fizgun number 52 so we got double of that one and let's see who we have in here okay all right we got a double we got a double we got a double but that's okay this is our double guy uh, same color and everything which is interesting and then we've got this guy he is pretty sick as well wow really cool looking but really sweet a nice jelly blue let's keep going all right, let's pull this one out. All right, same thing. All right, we got a different guy, though. Uh, Hilaclos Crazy Vergos. I don't know how you want to say it, but we did get a new little calling guy, 55, Sapot. He's a funny one. I do like his character. And let's go into the cool ones. Ooh, we got a Cyclops guy in here. Come on. Ooh. Whoops. Yeah, I figured one of those were going to fall. Uh, that was one of the things booster packs over there. Sealed booster pack of things. As you can see over here as well, we've got some Disney Go-Go's. I'm very, very excited to open up some Disney series Go-Go's. It's really sweet. Pretty hard to find as well, but when you can, uh, there's some really cool ones in here. Chance to get like a gold Mickey and Minnie. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. And of course, we got our other stuff down here just waiting to be open. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. All right, enough of me coddling to the audience here. Let's look at our little circly Cyclops man with his, oh my gosh, he's got so much texture on his face. And that's what I love about these alien guys. They just have so much to them. The designs are so just gloppy and gloopy and they really put them into some nice production. All right, we got a green variant of this guy. So here's the comparison between the two. Looking pretty sick. I do like the teal version a little bit better than the solid blue. Looks pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna open up another Mexico and we're gonna hope we can find some kind of glow in the dark one. I don't know how rare they are actually in the Mexico ones, uh, but I feel like you find them more often than not in the Mexico ones. So Pajon, Pajon number 44 is the one we just got in the last pack. All right, very nice. And let's see who we have in here. All right, we didn't get low in the dark. Let's pop these guys out, take a look. My favorite part about the Mexico set is that you just get a lot of the creature ones, which is awesome. The US set had a lot of the other like more gray alien, stereotypical alien characters dressed up as like Indians and Inuits and Mexicans and whatever. So soccer players, you name it. This is like the creature madness that I love. And he's one of my favorites right here. He is super cool. This little Triclops guy. That might even be his name. I might have that one correct, actually. <laughs> All right. And we got this guy. This guy again, right? We got him before, didn't we? No, did we not? Oh, I could have swore we did. No, I guess not. All right. <laughs> They're all blending together already, but the sharp sharp blue wow. just looking freaking awesome on this really nice i mean you gotta just really appreciate the paint job on these guys they did such a good job all right it's time for canada to rise and shine again here let's get into it and see what they can bring us let's see if we find the other side of our list we'll go through the stickers really quickly here and what is that one is that like he's got a mace that's crazy there's a brain guy there's a seal uh, see, I don't mind those guys, but I do prefer just the crazy ones. All right, 30. So we got that list already. And let's see if we get one of the things. It looks like it is going to be the same type of deal. We get a little anvil, goofy anvil guy from the Thing series. And then we get 
are aliens right here. Let's open it. Ooh, 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 they almost shot all over the place. What the heck, is that like an aardvark? That's crazy, that's hilarious. I don't think I've seen that one before. Well, I probably have, but I probably just forgot about it. And then we got the crash course guy. He's driving a little car with a helmet on, pretty sick. It's not the best design, not my favorite. He might as well be like the Java one or something. It looks like he's just sitting in like a freaking box or something, you know, not super well done on the design, but I'll take it. It's cool orange. I do like the orange jellies. Let's face it, I like all the jellies. Back into Mexico we go. Let's see what our cards are again. All right, the stickers and the faded off stickers. He's a cool one, Heliotron. He might be one that's exclusive to Mexico, possibly, possibly. Uh, but he's a cool looking robot, number 50. Let's see what we got in here. More of the Goobermont. Oh, he's gone. All right, I'm gonna have to go get him. Uh, but we have this guy right here, a very cool design. I thought we had him. Yes, yeah, some of these guys do, they just blend together. They look very similar to each other in some instances, which is crazy, but he's pretty dope. Let me go find the other one. Where'd he go? Oh, he was just right here at my feet. Well, that's one way to break in a crazy bone. He literally shot out of the pack, bounced off my wall, and landed right back at my feet, and I didn't even know. So, yep, there you go, the bouncy crazy bone boy right here. Very cool, he doesn't have too damaged. He looks fine, he looks fine. None of the paint scratched, you know? He's got like, looks like he's uh, got like a little grape leaf on his head or something, which is funny. Back into another Mexico. So you know what we got in here. All right, any new guy? Yeah, 57. Dr. Vile, Dr. Evile, something like that maybe. He is weird, he just looks like a grumpy old alien fart. All right, who do we got in this one? No, 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 no. Glow in the darks, once again. We do have the brainy boy here, looking pretty cool. I wish they would have maybe done some kind of painting on his brain a little bit, uh, but he does look pretty cool in that coloring. And let's see who we got in this one. All right, another new one. Is that another new one? I gotta double check now, it's ridiculous. Yes, another new one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he looks pretty cool as well. He's like a, looks like a hound, like some kind of like monster hound thing coming in with his little teeth here. Pretty sick. We got a couple more packs of Canada and a couple more packs of Mexico, and then we'll open up a nice US one. So let's open up Canada. Uh, we didn't get the other checklist yet, which I do want, I want it. So I don't have to just look at all these. Let's pour out our stickers. Oh, there's one sticker. There's the rest of my stickers here. Ah, there they are. All right, we got that guy, and we got the little Shakespeare guy. And our thing, the thing, I don't want to see the other ones yet. I don't want to be spoiled. Ah, ah, oh, ooh, there he is. All right, there, there we go. He's a little bottle cap, I believe. Maybe like a pill container or something like that. Very weird. Things, um, Things is the cheapest, most widely printed series, I believe. So, like, everybody has it. Literally, like, everybody. Looks like we got a completely duplicate pack with the soups and the... What was his name again? Gus? Gus and soups here. The crazy soups and Gus. Yeah, completely double pack with the same colors and everything. Pretty disappointing on that one. Oh, I lied. We have three Canadas. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's open up another Canada since I had an extra one hiding under my US one. All right, same checklist. We got the Statue of Liberty, which is ironic because this was sold in Canada, but they gotta do what they gotta do to get things sold. This guy's super dope, uh, which we did pull him. Yeah, but as you can see, uh, you can't really tell too much, but that's him. You know, the coloring on the sticker is a lot better than the actual coloring on that crazy one specifically. Here's our thing, we got the little chair dude. He might be an exclusive one to Canada. I can't remember. There's so many like, I think there's like 20 extra exclusives to Canada or something like that. So it's interesting. I'm already surprised that I was pulling these to begin with in our aliens packs. So let's pull out our little parrot here. There he is. Look at this little cute guy. I do like the parrot. He's pretty cool. Nice blue. Uh, looks a little wonky in the legs. Does he stand okay? Yeah, he stands okay. And who do we got here? We got the race car man again. The race car man again himself. So the variety has been better in the Mexico versions than it has in the Canada versions. So let's go back to Mexico, shall we? Bada boom, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We got this guy, the SOS man again. Popping it open. Let's see what we got. I see some nice blues and some nice purples, if I can open it. Ugh, 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 ugh. Come on, come on. There we go. There he is, that's a new one, he's pretty cool. What a derpy boy, look at his ears, that's hilarious. 
I'm gonna have to find the names of all of these. Oh my gosh. Number 42, we'll find the name of you. All right, let's find the other one here. Get him out, it's the Triclops Man, but in blue this time. Again, I am a little bit biased towards the teal. Looks a little bit nicer in my opinion, but not too bad. I mean, they still look both pretty darn good. One more Canada, and then one more of the Mexico. We didn't, we never got the other checklist. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's pull out our sticky, sticky boys, which uh, looks like this one's fading quite a bit. Interesting, that guy's cool. I do like that guy's skull racer or whatever. All right, let's pull out our thing. There we go, Bottle Cap Man in blue. Looks grimy and grody and beat up to hell. And then we've got, in the little tiny pack, let's see here, squeeze them out. Looks like we got some new ones, we did. Well, we got one new one, we didn't, we got a third Gus, which is insane. So third Gus on the roll, same type of colors as well. And then we got our little Eskimo dude here, he's pretty cool, or you could call him Adolf Hitler on the run, but you know, you take it or pick whatever name you so choose, I suppose. That's what I do, I just make up crap on the fly. All right, one more Mexico, and then we're gonna jump into the US pack. So let's see what we can find in here. I see some green, maybe some purple, I'm knocking the camera. This one's pretty cool. And we got number 55. Not a lot of variation in these little calling sticker cards. But let's open up our little pack here. Boom. All right. So, okay. Triclops in the color I like. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then we've got, oh, this is a brain guy again. All right. So kind of a lot of duplicates this time around. But there he is. Same color as well. Just that nice purple. Which, you know, I like the purples. I like the greens. I'm not going to complain. But, you know, it'd be nice to maybe get a little bit more variety. We did see a lot of doubles. It is time for the US pack. The US pack contains three crazy bones and a game card and a sticker. Characters one through 60 alien characters. Pretty sick. Oh man, it's such a great package. This, I'll be honest, the US does have the better packaging in my opinion, okay? Uh, Canada's a close second and I don't know what's going on with Mexico's Coca-Cola set up there, but they need to get a better graphic design artist but I'm very partial to the US boosters here. So let's pull it out and see what we can find. Stickers all on one sheet in this one instead of split into threes, which I kind of like better, honestly. And then we got the first part of the checklist. And of course it's the part that we already have and not the part we needed. And a scorecard on the line game. I kind of like that they included scorecards in this one. It's pretty neat. In the classic sets, they kind of did that stuff, which helped entice playing of the game, which some people did, some people didn't, but you know, those help. All right, let's pull them out here. I think, are they all in one pack or are they all in individual? All right, they're all in one pack, all three of them. Oh man, I lost one again. Okay, I have not seen you, dude. I have not seen this version of the parrot. That is really wild. Where's my other parrot? Look how different these two parrots are. This one is way better. This one's like a foggy blue, which is really interesting but okay okay what what one are you are there like two parrots in the set 28 22 yeah i guess i didn't realize it but there are there's two parrot like bird aliens in this set which okay all right let's pull out this one and i gotta go retrieve the next one but one of my favorite ones from the u.s here well this one's not just in the u.s but this one's really sweet number three i'll have to get his name but the little roman guard dude is really cool I like the color on this one too. It's a good yellow on this one with a good paint job. Very nice. I'm happy about that one. Here's my other one. He didn't bounce back to me this time. I can't. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't find him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. Back on track. All right. Here he is. Here's our third escapee. It's the wrestler here. So he got a. I think he's a wrestler. It's kind of what he looks like. Or is he a surfer? He might be a surfer. My bad. <laughs> I don't know, let's see, what number are you? Number four? Yeah, that's definitely a surfer. That's definitely a surfer. Okay, he surfed away, he went on the waves, took a little journey, found his way back eventually. It took me a second to find him too, but cool purple version of him, very nice. All right, so let's take a look at all the cool guys we got today. Let's see, oh wow, look at all those cool aliens. I love them. I would love to get more of these packs, they're a lot of fun. And uh, looks like we got a good amount of green, good amount of blue, good amount of purple. Uh, these guys are freaking dope. No glow in the dark, unfortunately. I would have loved to get one of the Mexico glow in the dark ones, but uh, maybe they're a little less common than I thought. Uh, 
Mm, might have just been confused on that one. Yeah, if you guys want more aliens, let me know in the comments below. I am always on the lookout for packs or finding deals on these so I can get more. So if you do want more, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And I'll tease a couple other things I have in this little this thing over here. Ooh, what's this? We got some classic series. Oh, what's this? We got some original run classic series. Oh, more classic series. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 oh. Dragon Ball? Ooh, Dragon Ball Z, go, go, crazy bones. Okay, okay. Coming up in a YouTube video near you. If you're excited for that, stay tuned and thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next one.